everyone welcome back to our channel this is supasna saying and i welcome you all to online study for you a complete placement solution for everyone today in this video we'll be solving infosys sample programming questions yes we'll be solving all the sample programming questions basically in these sample programming questions we'll be picking all the pseudo codes that have been released by the infosys so make sure you watch this video till end so that you get all the pseudo codes well so let's so let's get started with the video by solving the first pseudo code question so here we are with the first pseudo code question so let's see this question this is the first question here they have given us a validate data and then they have given the pseudo code now first of all we have number equals to 90 and then they have checked a if statement where they said if number is greater than 90 that is if 90 is greater than 90 and and if 90 number is 90 right so if 90 is less than 95 so it is inside the if statement so let's check this if statement is it true 90 is greater than 90 no so here we will be having false and now let's check this is it true 90 less than 95 yes 90 is less than 95 but here we have and okay so false and true and the and of false and true will be false okay so the answer what we are getting is false so it will here this condition if condition will get false and now we'll move on to the else part and we will display data not within the range so the answer will be data not within the range why because we were having one of the if statement false that is why the if statement have been skipped and we went to the else part and we displayed the at uh, else part so the answer will be the b part that is data not within the range will get displayed because we have the if statement wrong so we'll display the else part i hope this question is quite clear to you now let's move on to our next question. Coming on to our next question, the next question is this. Uh, they ask the output of the following pseudo code. We need to return the output. Let's see this question. In the first line, they uh, gave us some values. That is, set a equals to six, b equals to three, and c is equals to two. After that, they uh, gave us a b uh, if statement. So let's write this if statement. Here we have if b is greater than a. That is, if three is greater than six. Then they ask us if a is greater than c. Uh, c. If a is greater than c, that is six greater than two. And after that, we have c greater than b. That is two greater than three, right? So these are all the statement. Let's check this. Three greater than six? No, false. Uh, six greater than two? Yes, true. Two greater than three? False. Now, false and true. The there and will be false only. So the result will be false. And then false and false and of the false and false will be false. So the overall if statement will give us false. In that means whenever in if statement if there are multiple statements separated by and and if any one of the statement is getting false then you can immediately say that the entire if statement will get false so if will return false and if will return false so this statement this are then so we won't go inside the if statement we'll move on to this else part and in this else part we have a equals to b plus one so we will execute this and a will become b plus one that is a will become Three plus one, that is four. So a will become four, and now at the last we need to print a plus b plus c. So a is four, and b was three, and c was two. So the overall result is four plus three seven plus seven plus two nine. So the output will be nine here. So we will write nine here. I hope this question is quite clear to you. Now let's move on to our next question. So next question is the third question. And in the search question, they have asked us to which of the following series will be printed by the given pseudo code. So out of given uh, it's a uh, um, options, we need to tell which of the following will be printed. So again, this is the output based question. Let's see this. So this is uh, these are all the lines. First of all, we have some integers i, j, k, n. Okay. Then we set integer j equals to one and k equals to one. Okay. Now started a for loop from for i equals to one to five. Okay, this will run from i to five. Now we need to print k at each step. So inside this, we need to print k. So we will print k, and after that, we have j equals to j plus one. So we'll update j equals to j plus one, and then we we'll update k equals to k plus j. Okay, this is all they asked us. Now let's see. For the first step, for i equals to one, what will be printed? It first will print the value of k. That is one will be printed. Now you can see that we already have uh, eliminated this uh, option, and now we have these two options left. After that, what we have will be update j equals to j plus one. That is, j will become one plus one, two, and k will be updated to k plus j. That is, k will become k is one right now. So one plus uh, two, that is three. So now k will be three. Now this for loop will run for the i equals to two. Now the i's value will be two, and now it will print three. 
okay and you can see that your second uh, option is also gone eliminated so now you can uh, directly uh, take the option a but we will go uh, further and we'll see the entire output like whether we are getting the entire series or uh, no okay now moving forward what we need to print uh, now the k will again come and right now j will update it to 2 plus 1 that is 3 okay and uh, k will update it to k but 3 plus 3 that is 6 okay so we'll be having k equals to 3 plus uh, 6 so that 6 will be and next time when will come this so it will print 6 for the i equals to 3 and now after again j will be updated to 3 plus 1 that is 4 and k will be updated to 6 plus 4 that is 10 and now when this loop will run for i equals to 4 we will upgrade 10 after that again j will be updated for 4 plus 1 5 and k will be updated for 10 plus uh, 5 that is k plus j that is 15 and now when this uh, loop will run for the 5 it will print 15 here and now after printing this although j and uh, k will be updated but next time when it will come i's value will be 6 which should match the condition because i loop will run from 1 to 5 only so we'll stop here only and this will be our answer so you can see that our option a is entirely correct where also whenever you are seeing that only one option is left you can directly take that do need to check further go on that and click on that uh take on that so this is you can do to save your time now moving forward in the fourth question now to our first question first question is what will be the output of the following pseudocode if a is equals to b a r 10 and b equals to 6 so a is equals to 10 and b is equals to 6 already given now let's see the pseudocode so here first we have the function and inside this function we have this integer 10 and then we have the while loop b and this while loop is written like while b and inside this uh, while loop we have temp equals to a mod b okay and after that we have a equals to b b equals to 10 and then uh, we will end our file after that we, at last we need to return the value a and we need to tell this value a only so let's see so first of all temp will be a mod uh, b that is 10 mod 6 and whenever there is a modular that means what will be the remainder that will be given to us so inside this we have 10 and we have 6 always 6 will be written first and this uh, this is how you need to find the remainder so 6 6 and now we will be having the remainder 4 so now uh, temp will be having temp will be having 4 out now now a equals to b that is a will become now b that is b's value is 6 so a will become 6 and b will become temp that is 4 so now a is 6 and b is 4 and now we'll again run and b's value is 4 which is not uh, which is a uh, any positive number which is not equal to zero that means our while loop will be having true whenever there is a positive value till then there is a any value except zero our while loop will return true and that means while loop will keep on going so to end this while loop we need a b's value to be zero right now we'll again do this that is we have a mod 10 and a mod b and that is 6 is a 6 mod 4 and whenever we find the 6 mod 4 let's find it somewhere here and we have 4 and 6 so, so it will be 4 and 2 so now uh, more temp will be having 2 right and after that we'll update a to b and uh, b's value is 4 b will become 10 that is it will become 2 now this while loop will again run and now we'll come here and again we will get now b's value is 2 right now okay so we'll again calculate this a mod b that is a's value is 4 mod b b's value is 2 so let's find it so we have 2 and 4 and now if i calculate then 2 2 are 4 and now we don't have any remainder left so now temp will become this time temp will become zero a will be updated to b that is b's value is two so a will become two and b will become this time equals to temp that is zero and now since b is equals to zero now b is, uh, so this while loop will end this while loop will return false and it will stop here only so now at last what value we were having to be uh, a it was two so when we'll return so a will return two so we will be returning two so the answer will be this option option a two so i hope you are getting this question and i hope this question is also clear to you let's move on to our next question now now coming on to our fifth question fifth question is what would, would be the output of the following pseudo code so this is a pseudo code let's solve this and let's find the output for it so first of all we have some integer i j k then we have this uh, we have set the value of k equals to six then we have the for loop which is running from i equals to one one to one and then inside this we have again for loop which is running from j equals to 1 to 1 and after that we are printing we are printing 
k plus 1. And then if this for loop is ending, uh, and the outer for loop is also ending. Now we need to tell the output that what will be printed. So k's value was initially 6. Let's go inside this loop. So for I will run first time. I is 1 to 1. So I will run this. And again, inside this, we'll go inside this for loop, uh, j loop. So now we'll print k plus 1, that is 7 will be printed, right? And now this loop will end this uh, because I uh, j's value will update it to 2. And now it is not less than 1. So we'll, up, uh, we'll stop here. This will, will stop here. Now this will go and i's value will also become 2. So uh, this loop will also stop here. So at last, what we are printing? We are printing 7. So what will be the output? Output will be option C, 7. So 7 is the answer. So these are all the pseudo codes we have solved. And I hope these were quite clear to you. And I hope this video helped you to understand these pseudo codes and you got to these pseudo codes well. And if you like this video, then do like share, and subscribe to our channel. And if you are if and if you have any queries, then you can let us know in the comment section below. We'll definitely help you. Also, if you want any other video from us, then you can also let us know in the comment section below. We'll definitely try to come with those videos. So that was all about this video. Thanks for watching. 